They inhabit the mangrove forests and muddy flats of the Indo-Pacific region, a world that is constantly changing with the rhythm of the tides. Here, the ability to navigate both water and land is not just an advantage, it is a fundamental requirement for survival. The mudskipper has risen to this challenge with an array of astonishing adaptations, making it a living testament to evolutionary artistry. Observe how it perches proudly on a mangrove root, surveying its domain like a tiny amphibious monarch. The mudskipper's most striking feature is its modified pectoral fins. These are not the delicate wafting fins of a typical fish. Instead, they are robust, muscular and jointed, functioning much like primitive limbs. Using these powerful fins, the mudskipper can crutch across the mud, propelling itself forward in a series of deliberate, surprisingly agile movements. It's a gait that appears almost reptilian, a fascinating glimpse into how the first vertebrates might have made their initial forays onto land. This ability allows them to forage for insects, crabs and other small invertebrates exposed during low tide, exploiting a rich food source unavailable to purely aquatic fish. Their strong pelvic fins are often fused, forming a sucker-like disc that helps them cling to surfaces. But walking is not their only terrestrial talent. Some species of mudskipper are also adept climbers, capable of scaling the tangled roots of mangrove trees and even low-hanging branches. This arboreal agility serves multiple purposes. It provides an escape from aquatic predators, offers a vantage point for spotting prey or rivals, and helps them avoid being submerged by the returning tide if they so choose. Their large, independently moving eyes perched high on their heads provide excellent panoramic vision, crucial for detecting danger and opportunity in their complex, dual environment. They can see both above and below the water surface simultaneously, a truly remarkable feat. To survive out of water, mudskippers have also evolved sophisticated methods of breathing air. They possess enlarged gill chambers that can trap a bubble of air, acting like a rudimentary lung. Furthermore, they can absorb oxygen directly through their moist skin and the lining of their mouth and throat. A process known as cutaneous respiration. This requires them to keep their skin damp, which they achieve by periodically rolling in muddy puddles or taking quick dips. This constant need for moisture ties them to the water's edge, but their freedom from continuous submersion is a significant evolutionary leap.